In this video, you will learn how to use a few simple steps to add a Facebook fan box to your simple site. To do so, you need access to your simple site as well as your Facebook page. Let's start with the simple site. I have already entered the web address here. To log in, I can either use the link on the right here or add slash added to the end of the web address. In the template, you can enter your credential. And on the next page that appears, there will be a link for continue. And when I click on that, it will take me to the edit mode of the website. You can tell you in the edit mode when you see a green box in the center. If you already have a few items on your navigation panel, make sure you're on the home page with the edit tab highlighted. Here you can see a row of options, and one of them is Admin. Let's click on that. You will be taken to a new template, and when you scroll down to where it says Facebook Page ID, here, the description says specify a Facebook Page ID to get a fan box for that Facebook page in the left column of your home page. So where do you find the Facebook ID? To do so, you need access to your Facebook page. And here I will use the DCN uh, Facebook page as an example. This is where I'm one of the administrators. If your Facebook page is relatively new, you will be able to see on the web address the last portion a series of numbers. That is your Facebook page ID. However, if you have already acquired a custom address such as the one here for DCN.org, it won't be displayed there. There is a button on the right which says Edit Page. If you click on it, it will change the web address to a new one. And if you look at the end of that web address, after the equal sign, you will see a series of numbers. Highlight that, use the keystroke Control c to copy. Now go back to your simple site and simply use Control v to paste it in. And now you're ready to save it. After saving it, you will see the fan box appears in the left column. The first section has a like button. This is where your visitors can subscribe directly to your Facebook page. If you scroll further down, you will see the streaming of your status updates here, as well as a few examples of people who have already subscribed. To view what it looks like to the public, you can either log out now but oftentimes, I find it convenient to open a separate browser where I'm not logged in. And here I have opened another browser where I'm not logged into the site. You don't see the fan box here yet. And what you can do is refresh the browser. And there it is. Hope you find this useful. Thank you for watching.